All right, guys, welcome back. It has been for you one day. For me, it has been uh, like six. So I'm super excited to get back into this. We got a dead man. We got to figure out what happened to the dead man. So uh, let's get into it. Shuichi Saihara says, okay, I've got them. And also, I just realized I should have gone back and reviewed the voices, but I didn't. So we'll that, 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 have fun. It was hard removing the camera that Kaede set up. She really taped it down well. Well, I really didn't want the camera to fall since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Here, yeah, it's these three cameras. Now, we just have to develop the film. Allow me to perform that task. Wow! Is there anything the ultimate mate can't do? Oh, look, it's what's your face. I heard everything you said. If that's what you need, just leave it to me. Huh? I'll devote the photos to you bastards and focus on the investigation. Why did she say that? She doesn't say bad words. Because if you guys get punished, it would be way too gory. H hey, don't butt into our... But she ignored my objection, walked up to Shuichi, and took the cameras from him. That's kind of fishy. I don't know about that. He said, Ah! I am a strong, sensual woman. Do not underestimate me. Ugh. Queen. Hey, give those back, you freaking frick. No need to worry. We ought to follow the rules. We won't do anything underhanded to do this, I promise. So I'll let you know it. Here's the book in the photos. She better not. I don't. I actually don't think they're allowed to, to meddle in the investigation. They... Well, Monokuma has done that once or twice. I don't know. Well, wait, get the cameras back! It was pointless to yell at her. Monofani left as swiftly as the wind. Ah, oh, there she goes. No, that was important evidence. I'm sorry. I, I was being careless. But maybe she'll actually help. It's probably okay. She says she developed photos. Then get photos back. And she said she had to follow the rules, so <laughs> I don't think she would destroy evidence. <laughs> Looks like we've got no choice but to believe that. <laughs> it's important to believe. Atua only shows mercy to those who believe. <laughs> Kaede, I know you're worried, but you can trust me. We just have to be patient. <laughs> That's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. But now, we're just in a bigger mess. A mess we have to see through to the end. <laughs> ah, Kaede, I have a proposal for you. <laughs> Marry me. If it's alright with you, could we keep working together during the trial, like we're doing now? Yeah. Yay, friendship, Shuichi! I didn't know you would be my friend. I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. No, I want to help you. Ooh, what a man! Of course, with you on my side, it'll be like having a hundred people helping me. Okay, well, calm down. You're kind of coming on a little strong there. Thank you, Kaede. Hey, so I don't care about this mushy stuff, so let's get started already. In charge, you take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. It takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Huh? Why? If we let the culprit work by themselves, they might try and destroy evidence, right? Oh, you're right. Since the culprit is one of us... <laughs> if each of us watches the other, no one will be able to hide any evidence. I do not intend to offer a suggestion, but I would further arouse suspicion. That would further arouse suspicion, but no, that's logical. Please speak your mind, Kirame. It's not something you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. Once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. We can do it, guys. Investigation start! Boys, are you pumped? Because I'm pumped! Oh, man! Here we go. So, for those of you who don't know what this game is about, this is the part where you investigate the murder scene, you talk to people, you look at things like this globe. Let's see what this globe has to offer. It's a mysterious globe, but I don't think it has anything to do with the sense. Okay, well, that was not as exciting as I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Uh, let's just talk to everybody real quick. They might have uh, hope important things to say. If you're the ultimate detective, then you've got your eyes on the culprit, right? What? Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Oh, I want to know too! He doesn't know! We haven't done anything yet, you stupid idiots! Oh, no, I'm sorry, I can't say anything yet. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Uh, you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But with the way things, but the, but with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? Mm. Let me just warn you: the way the world is, the way the world works, is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need to find something even more powerful. What do you mean, bro? You're freaking weirding me out, bro. I mean the testimonies without evidence are powerless. 
be careful. I know! I'm the ultimate detective. What do you expect from me, lad? Come on. I know everything there is to know about detectives, even though I've only solved one freaking case by luck. Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood curve? Right. The culprit must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they would not step forward. True. I wonder what that means. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is the culprit's objective wasn't to survive. It was to kill everyone here. Ooh, ooh, that's dark. That's dark. I mean, I like that. That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class trial. But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly plausible. Well, true. Killing us all does seem like something the mastermind would do. So we cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Well said. All right. Can't lose our way, guys. All right, let's talk to freaking weirdo Mew. Don't talk to me, crotch edge. I'm freaking busy. Mew can teach ignoring us while she's filled with a controller. What's that controller for? I don't talk to me. It's a prone. <laughs> of course it's a prone. Oh, I don't mean to butt into the conversation, but don't you mean drone? If it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the Gangolion Alliance to destroy humanity. <laughs> You're so smart. I have no idea what she's talking about. Yeah, yeah this chick's a nerd, bro. Ooh, wait a second. The controller is. <laughs> You're getting it, Dick Cheese. I wanted to call me Dick Cheese more. She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. Ha! Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl Cheese. You know, it's a drone. <laughs> I told you, that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. I don't get it. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this earthy. I even decked it out with a camera. It take perfect aerial photographs. From there, I'll use the photographs as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. This way, I get, I get out of having to do any actual investigation legwork. Wow. I found out that the English actress for that character, Mew, was like 60 years old. That's kind of crazy. I, I Now I really wish I was in English. Uh, drafting a floor plan with photos? That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. The only problem is, I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. You should be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. I can't do crap about that. So just calm your tiny tits and shut up. Just shut up! Yeah, my chest is way better than your nasty cow udders. Wow, that was brutal. Uh, You're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. She is a complete wuss. She can do- oh, look at that drone flying around! That's kinda neat Oh, Alright, what do you have to say? Smoogie? I need to say their names so I, like, remember their names. Uh, I don't know who killed Rentaro, but it's Monokuma's fault that happened. Because he pressured us. This happened. That motive he gave us is part of it. And so is that strange music. Oh man, that music- that was such a great little sequence with all that. It was so- I was like- I was nervous, bro. I was getting hype! In, like, a nervous sense. He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. It was awful. I thought I'd get crazy. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rantaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Anyway, we have to stop the Mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Okay. Ooh. Promotional video background music has been added to Truth Bullets. Okay, so for those of you... Oh god, my hair is so long and horrible and bad and not good. Um... Those of you who don't know, Truth Bullets, I think actually might have been explained in the last episode. I don't remember. I didn't watch it recently. Um, but the Truth Bullets are just like all the evidence you collect. And then during the trial, you're like, pew, choo, pew, 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 Truth Bullet, pew. So this is obviously important evidence. The promotional back video background music. Uh, how come I can't? I really would like to examine the body. I feel like that is important. So how do I activate? I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, I didn't want to actually leave. What? Yeah, there's my... There's my investigation vision. Check this out. It's so interesting that this is this is how it works. Oh yeah, can I check the moving bookcase? The moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. A little bit. Yeah, I set up a security sensor on top of this bookcase, right? Yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. Shuichi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. It's still here. I should take it down now. We're moving it is fine. But won't your receiver go off when you move it? No, it's alright. I turn the receiver on. Huh? You can turn it off? Technology is crazy! 
Yes, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside, and I didn't want to alert him. Ah, I see smart thinking, you little goose. You're such a clever little goose man. Receiver on Shuichi has been added to the truth bullets. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, this is obviously evidence. The moving ladder I used to, to reorganize the books on top of the bookcase. Nothing out of the ordinary here. I was incorrect. Hmm. Near the body. There we go. That's what I want to look at. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rentaro's body? Yes, if we want to find clues, we have to. But if it's too much for you, Kaide, you don't have to, okay? No, it's fine. I can do it. I play Mortal Kombat like all the time, so... It's whatever. My mind was set, and I started to walk toward Rentaro's body. Oh, oh no. He's dead as frick, boy. Oh, the last time I saw Rentaro, he was alive and well. Why did Rantaro die here? What do you mean, die here? I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Hmm, it's true. Why was he just standing there? What a freak! Are you okay? You've gone pale. She's not gone pale. She's gone, she's gone like purplish. Purplish in the face. Although I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body, after all the body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. Mm -hmm. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rantaro's sake, but also so we can avenge him. Yeah, we can avenge him and so we can protect everyone else. Yeah, we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. I need to breathe. <gasps> um, Kaede, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I know, we already talked about this. I am sort of a detective after all. Not to brag or anything. I solved one case. Aww. Yeah, we know. Sort of. You are a detective, remember? You're stupid. I don't want to work with you anymore because you're dumb. Mm. Oh, right. Okay. Wow, that is... That is a hefty amount of blood splatter, dude. He really he really got murdered. Let's take a look at the shot put ball first that I had to look at earlier. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. The shot put ball? Could it be? The very same one we saw from the warehouse? Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. There's blood all over it. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. The shot itself is heavy. It would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Going to, I swear to God! I swear to God, going to, I'm watching you! Bloody shot put ball has been added to the truth bullet section on your mobile pad. Alright, take a look at the body. <laughs> um, I know we need to examine this body, but I'm not sure where to start. It's okay. I can do it. Shuichi showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rantaro's body. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. So we can trust the Monokuma file? Yes. For now. Bum, bum, bum. Suichi then stuck his hand into Rantaro's pocket. He took out his wallet and removed the money from within. Wait, what are you doing? I'm checking what he has on his person. There might be a clue. If we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. <laughs> How can you say that with so much confidence? Come on, Kenny, put yourself together. Ooh, that flower sound effect, man. It's like she likes him. Rantaro had in his possession the key to this to his room, and the student had the monopad. The monopad is definitely his, and it's exactly the same model as ours. He didn't have a card key on him? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Hmm, then Rantaro really wasn't the mastermind. We're such fools. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. So... With what we know, that is most likely possible. That is the most likely possibility. Unless he was, and somebody killed him, and he took it off of him. Why was Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? I don't know! Rantaro's belonging is the end of the truth bullet section. Your mind will pay. Kaide, are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Y yeah, sorry. I'm just kind of freaked out by super, super dead people I was talking to like a day ago. Hmm. Something is bothering me. Why did Rantaro come to the library? Why did he come to the library? I don't get it. It seems likely that he's not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? I'm guessing I'm guessing it had something to do with what Rantaro mentioned earlier. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. I can't believe he's dead, dude. He was so interesting, and then he did ending the game itself. I just, I wonder, then it's possible, he noticed the hidden door in the library, just like we did. <laughs> what? He might have come to the same conclusion we did, that the mastermind would come here. You mean, he had the same idea as us? 
No way. He should have told us. We could have worked together. Oh, she's crying. I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my mm. frustration. No, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kaide, but Mentaro didn't have anyone he could trust. How sad. That might have been the only difference between me and him. As he said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand, and he firmly pulled me up to my feet. But a zoom, Kade. Let's go. We can't waste time now. You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Shichi. He's right. I can't give up now. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Thank you, Saihara Kun. Shuichi's right. We can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We got to find the mastermind. Okay, so I'm thinking now it's time I can get out of here, right? I have to have found everything. The front door that leads us right through the basement stairs. We went to the store before we discovered Rantaro's body. We entered the library through here with Kaito and Tenko. Yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close. And then when we ran over, we found Rantaro's body behind that bookcase. I wonder if Rantaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did too. When we see the pictures after the Wano Cubs develop them, that will be clear. I guess all we can do is wait. Hmm. Okay, well maybe we have to go out through these doors. Then. This is the rear door. It is the furthest door from the stairs and it leads into the hallway. Somebody could have like opened that door and went like and killed the boy. By the way, this is a sliding door. See? It opens when you slide it. Wow, thank you. Yes, I saw that. Detective, it looks like you're the ultimate detective now. Do you think Rentaro entered through this door? I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the Monocops. You're right. We'll just have to wait. What the frick am I missing here, my dudes? I've talked to pretty much everybody, right? Maybe I can talk to her again and she'll be like, Mei Drone is found a thing. Don't talk to me, you ugly skank. I don't even the guys in. Ugh, damn it. This shot's out of focus again. You freaking faces burn the freaking lens, you freaking stupid idiot. Dumb, stupid, dumb. I hate you. Or plan might be useful to the investigation, but it might not be finished in time for the class trial. I guess I won't expect too much. Well, I've already talked. Maybe I can talk to him again. Did I even talk to him in the first place? Hey, Kaide, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah, I remember. The door was closing. We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? No one even touched it, so how did that happen? Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Shuichi moved to the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Ramble, 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 ramble. Open sesame. Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, he let go of the bookcase, and after waiting for a bit, ramble, 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 ramble. Uh, Man, this this song is such a vibe. Oh, it closes on its own. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you would be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. Hmm, I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. Moving bookcase has been added to the truth below section of your monopad. But wait! If the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door... Oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. After killing Rantaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Let's check that now. Huh? How do we check it? The dust on the card reader, remember? Shuichi moved the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. Surprised you didn't check that earlier. Ramble, 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 ramble. Alright, let's see. We lean in to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader and... Hey, the dust is still there. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? That's that's some thinking right there. No. I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. Unless they put it exactly right there, you stupid detective. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through this door. Then the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was Rantaro himself? <gasps> I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Card reader dust has been added to the truth board section of your monopad. Well, I still think the mastermind is the culprit, so we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. We'll end the killing game that way too. <clears throat> okay, well, that has to be everything, right? This is the rear door. The person from the hallway. Who went to the store? I guess we'll find out what's going on because it's been developed in film. What else is there possibly for me to possibly look at, right? Because I already searched near the body, right? I checked the moving ladder and they were like, yeah, it's stupid. Front bookcase. What's this going on? What's going on here? Tons of books are carrying the bookcase. And Rachel Mirror stacks on top. I guess it's not important. 
It doesn't seem as if anything has changed since we set up the cameras. The books that you stacked up haven't moved. Oh, I keep forgetting his accent. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going through the vent? Yeah, those have been left alone. Hmm. Stack books has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Now that's gotta be it, right? There's nothing else I missed. The monitor's pretty irrelevant, so. Alright. Does the front door look like this? Okay, well, I guess I can't leave there either. Uh, tell me what to do, Suichi. Hey, Suichi, I need some advice. What do you think? We should check first. I'm thinking about it too, but since you're a detective, you might know more than me. Well, we should check first. As if the areas where we place the cameras have changed in any way. Oh, thank you. Like the bookcase, the vent. I feel like there might be more clues around there. I see. Clues around Taro's body. I already checked that. Oh. Finally, we need to hear from everyone here. I already did that too. One of them might have knows something we missed. Mm. Hey, got it. Oh, I'll send Pearl on the roll. I hope I can be of some use. Hmm. But I've already talked to everybody and they've already checked everything. Hmm. Hmm. Unless. Oh, that's all checked. Ooh, the vent! I gotta check the vent. The vent is open. I was the one who took off the grate and left it in the duct. And we were keeping watch in the classroom when this vent leads to. I don't think the culprit came in or out through here. Mm. Yeah, that's true! Alright, well, library vent has been added to the true section of your mono pad. That's gotta be the last thing, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Kade, I think we've investigated the entire library now. But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the mastermind. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those... But then again, I can't say that. And do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Keep investigating? Yes, I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Mantaro was killed. If that's the case, then who should be questioned? Oh yeah, the six people that went down to the basement were Mantaro. Man, that's a lot of people that went down there. Yeah, Mantaro was one of them. <clears throat> Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Anji, and Himiko. If I pronounce Anji, isn't it? I can say Anji, but it's probably Anji because it's Japanese or whatever. Let's talk to them first. Mm. They should have been in the game room, along with Rantaro. Let's ask them about what happened there. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. Alright. Get me out of here. Yeah, let's get it. Get, 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 get me the frick out of here, bro. I'm done. Hallway, BF. So they were in the game room, so maybe they'll still be in there. I love the transitions. That's like my favorite part about Danganronpa games, is how like the, the the areas build themselves. Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you with the people? Maki, you were in the game room when Rantaro was killed, right? What were you all doing down here? Rantaro was with you, right? Am I a suspect? Oh, no, that's not what I meant. You should you should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everything. This girl is so creepy, dude. Someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. So trust no one, Kaede. Or you'll lose. Got it. I can't get a read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body, yet she's perfectly calm. What a freak! It's hard to imagine her as the ultimate child giver. It really is! But why were you all here in the first place? It was all Kaito's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting and gathered us all here. Together. Whatever, same thing. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in a fight. Seven people. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Anji, and Rantaro. It's a lot of people. But um, I'm not sure those seven people would all be useful in a fight, though. Oh. Kaito thought Himiko's magic and Anji's connection to Atsuo would be useful. Huh? What about you, Maki? Why did he also pick the ultimate child caregiver? That's kind of suspicious. <laughs> He just looked at me and said, Yeah, you probably know how to fight. Oh, I like that that little... Uh, what's it called? That little face she's making is cute. That's it! Jeez! That does sound like something Kaito would do, though. But why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? Beats me. Maybe Kaito figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence? And what was Rantaro doing at the time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? He was, at first. But then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. <gasps> Kaito and Tenko went looking for him so we could finish the meeting before time expired. That must have happened around! Huh? What are you guys doing here? Well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Kaito is definitely looking to join. The 
did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? Anji, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gonta never joined us. Huh? Gonta wasn't with you guys? Gonta did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AV room at the back. He was in the AV room by himself? Oh no. Please, God. If Gonta- I can't- I'm, I won't even say anymore. Suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. What other two? Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. Maki's account has been added to the truthful section of your mono bed. <laughs> Alright, well. There's still things we need to investigate. Huh, maybe a sliding door then. Hey, Shuichi, the AV room. Oh, that's the AV room. Isn't that bad? We're in the back. Kaede, have you never been in there before? <laughs> no, not yet. Anyway, let's go. I don't like that. <laughs> hey guys, you know what time it is? It's time for uh, a new freaking episode to come out tomorrow. You've already been watching too much. I guess, sorry guys, I gotta limit the amount of time you guys are watching me because I'm just irresponsible. Okay guys, we'll see you later. Bye, have a good one.